Uh, Python hardware. Some interesting stuff going on this week. I wanted to play a little video that Jepler did, and I'm also going to show some stuff from our newsletter. So um, let's go Ooh, over Ooh, lots there. of new guides this week. Yeah, well, sure. that's that's when we get to our guides. Um, oh, wait, sorry, yeah. Yeah, we and there's a lot of CircuitPython. I was so but, blown away by the guide. There's a lot of CircuitPythons <laughs> going on right now. Um, so we have two new versions of CircuitPython that you can check out. Um, mm -hmm. Some updates, if you've been following along the latest releases, we're getting close to being able to focus on 9, but please continue to test it. There's a sneak peek on MicroPython R120, so there's some Bluetooth stuff that you might want to check out. Um, uh, for the Pico W, yeah. Yeah, for the Pico W. And then um, one project that we showed on Show & Tell that's also in the newsletter, um, we have this controller for our, our kiddo. And what's neat is uh, we had this before we saw this, and then someone's like, hey, check this out. I'm giving these away. I'm showing how people make them. And it's a um, it's a circuit Python board, and you can turn things into controllers. So this is a Fisher-Price controller that that works. It lights up. It's, it's 6 bucks, and it's like a really good game controller. So you can check that out. And then today, this is kind of our breaking news. Um, I thought this would be neat for Lady Ada to talk about. So if you go to the Raspberry Pi site, this is raspberrypi.org. Um, they're asking folks to test their new code editor for young people. Yeah. But that just means, they say young people, but it's just like anybody, especially, yeah. yeah. Um, so young people age seven and older to learn how to write code. What's neat is this is inside a browser, so. Yeah, yeah it's um, it's fully browser running, so you can actually run Python code within the browser, which I thought was yeah. nice. So it's got a built-in like Python runtime, um, which is nice because usually JavaScript is what you would be able to do within yeah. a browser. But, the, you know, there's... People have ported Python to, um, you know, WebAssembly or Java or something. So uh, it's running within the browser, but then you can also download the code. So what's neat about this is, um, you know, you can uh, write code for your Raspberry Pi or just learning Python, and then you can download the files so if you go to the um, the browser. So yeah, yes, yeah, so you can like on. you can click download to download the file. Boop. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, and then um, you can get the, the you know the main.py yeah. file. You can multiple files, so it's you know this can be really useful for um, and they're making sure it runs on mobile and it runs on tablets yeah. and Chromebooks. So this could be a really nice, um, well featured editor that works on um, Circuit Python and MicroPython. Yeah. We don't want it to... doesn't use Web Serial yet, but it, it could, could yeah. be added. It could and, be added. And we don't want to build something like this because it's giant yeah. and complicated and no. there's browsers and everything, so I'm glad they're doing it. Thank yeah. you. Um, and then I want to play this quick video that uh, Jepler did. Um, it's the... It was... It, you showed this off in the show and tell. The, yeah, yeah, the synth, which is a part yeah. of uh, a new feature in CircuitPython. Howdy, folks. Jepler here. I'm excited to share some of the recent work I've been doing on CircuitPython with the Metro M7 from Adafruit. Um, off screen, there is an I2S amplifier and speaker positioned to pick up on my camera. And here we've got a STEMI QT board with a Wii nunchuck style controller attached. And I've been working on audio synthesis, which was originally contributed by GitHub user Teomich in 2021. Uh, now we can play more notes at the same time. The notes can be pressed or released by CircuitPython code, and the waveform of the notes can be directly controlled from Python code. So let me show you, and please keep in mind I'm no musician. Selecting different chords, adding the seventh and the ninth, up to six total notes in the chord here, changing the volume up and down, and the timbre. Delivered to your inbox every single week. I think it's the longest running Python on hardware newsletter out there. So check it out at adafruitdaily.com. We don't spam you. There's no harvesting of emails from your order accounts at adafruit.com. We made a completely separate site just to make sure you know that we are just as annoyed by spam as you. So Adafruit Daily is where you can get that newsletter, or you can just get the RSS feed, or you can just read it on the web. We don't care. We just want to get the information out there. It's also on GitHub. Uh